UN urges rivals in Cyprus to de-escalate tensions and seize opportunity to restart negotiations. The bodies of nine Pakistanis killed by unknown gunmen in Iran have been repatriated. Tokyo's fish market opens long-awaited seafood restaurants and spa to attract more visitors. Let's look into details. Under pressure from Toronto and Quebec, Trudeau government announces $362.4 million in new refugee supports. Under pressure from the city of Toronto and Quebec to foot a bigger portion of the bill for asylum seekers, the federal liberal government announced $362.4 million in new money to shelter refugees nationwide. Immigration Minister Mark Miller refused to reveal how much of that will go to Toronto, saying only it will be a significant amount and revealed in the coming days. Turkish family is still afraid to go home one year after deadly earthquake. A year after a powerful earthquake in southern Turkey reduced hundreds of thousands of homes to rubble, Fatma Kirisi lives in a tent with her husband and two grown children. Afraid to return to the multi-story house, they fled that some house jail stands. Our house is at the edge of a precipice, said Kirisi, 50, whose 20-year-old daughter and son-in-law died in the quake when their house collapsed. She said, I don't want to put my other kids at risk. UN urges rivals in Cyprus to de-escalate tensions and seize opportunity to restart negotiations. The UN Security Council voted unanimously Tuesday to extend the UN peacekeeping mission to Cyprus for a year and urged all parties, including rival Green Cypriots and Turkish Cypriots, to take steps to de-escalate tensions in and around the buffer zone dividing the Mediterranean island. The council also strongly encouraged all parties to seize the opportunity of UN Security Council Antonio Guterres' appointment of new personal envoy for Cyprus to restart negotiations between the two sides. The bodies of nine Pakistanis killed by unknown gunmen in Iran have been repatriated. The bodies of nine Pakistani laborers killed by gunmen in Iran last week were repatriated to their home country Thursday. It was still unclear who was behind the attack Saturday in a home in Iran, Sistan and Balochistan province. Three Pakistanis wounded in that attack were still being treated at an Iranian hospital. Tokyo's fish market opens long-awaited seafood restaurants and spa to attract more visitors. Tokyo's fish market on Thursday opened a long-awaited outer section with Japanese-style seafood restaurants and a spa for relaxation. As the wholesale venue that has struggled since re relocating from the beloved Tsukiji market seeks to lure more visitors. Toyoso Senkyoko includes a food court resembling an Edo Samurai era street lined with about 65 restaurants serving mostly fresh catch from the market next door. Together with visitors at the spa and hotel in another area, the Tokyo Metropolitan Government that operates the market hopes to attract some 2.6 million visitors annually. That's all for now. Keep watching Daisy TV USA. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. And don't forget to watch our channel DTVNN. Log on to our OTT platform DTV Flakes to explore over 2,000 channels which we provide.